Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Nalem Korijen is my official name. Uh, today, I would like us to vibe about, um, as a concerned mother, um, I'd like us to talk about the children who are always along Lodwa to Kainuk or even uh, Kalem Ngorok Highway. Sijui our uh, watoto, uh, even the weekdays, unapata watoto uwakotu along the, the road. Uh, it's my observation. I've been taking an observation. Nimekuwa kwa barabara almost every month. Lazima ni safiri along this road. But uh, it's come to, it has come to my realization that ch children are always, even weekdays, siku ya shule, unawana watoto tuko barabara. And these children, unawapata watoto wameshika viboko, wengine wameshika mawe. And I do wonder, ni easy shule, shule ziko kweli along these roads. Na ukiangalia pia kwa hizi, hizi barabara, unawana kuna posters za shule, unawana maybe kuna shule fulani, shule fulani, mpaka mali unaenda. Lakini unajuliza hizi shule kuna walimu kweli na hii area kuna wanafunzi and yet we are we are complaining of insecurity. Hata watoto wakati unawaona we mwenyewe unastuka ni kama ni bandits ndio wako kwa hii barabara. Na pia uh, it was around last month when uh, we were almost attacked hapo kwa barabara karibu na game. Imagine ni watoto ndio walikuwa na signal watu ndani ya bush. Unaona tu mtoto analala ni kama unaisi ile Uchungu ya mama unasema simamisha labda wanaenda mali flani ama wana ECQ. Wasaidie maji. Lakini unaona mtoto anafanya hivi mkono na unaona watu wanakimbia kutoka kwa bush. Mpaka unauliza sasa we, we are talking about leaders of tomorrow but we are not strengthening the young generation. Because in the near future we are going to have watu atuta kuwa na madaktari mina wanata. Atuta kuwa na walimu. Kwa sababu awa watoto awa endi shule na wanajifunza njia mbaya sana. Ha? Ukiona hata jinsi wanarusha mao kwa magari ama ukiona ile mchezo wanacheza ni mchezo mbaya sana. Ha? It means that we, are, we will still complain about the bandits and all those things here, thugs kwa barabara. Kwa sababu these children are being brought up kufanya the same thing which wale watu wazima saizi wanafanya. So that's my concern. Please, teachers and the parents, let us be very keen. Let us teach our children and take them through the right way. Kwa sababu wakati hata tunawana tu watoto wanatembea na wazazi, but they are not even serious about it. Unawana tu mwanafunzi mtoto anatembea kivyake, mama anatembea kivyake. Si mama ake, lakini mbona azimwambia hata arudi nyumbani. Kwa sababu some, some days ni mewai kupita yu barabara pia. Attack imekuwa. Na bado tu watu, watoto tu wanatembea ni kama hakuna kitu imefanyika. It means that wamezoea the harsh way. Meaning hakuna kitu ya maana watajua kama sio kutumia hiyo njia. Kupata maybe chakula, kupata pesa. Na pia wanaona hivyo ni mzuri, wanaona ni kama is the easiest way of getting money. Or it's the easiest way of getting resources. You see? So when we come together as parents, when we come together as teachers, when we come together as leaders, Unona, we will, we will nurture these children on the, in the right way. Mm. Because sometimes, other Unona to walk up a moja, waze wa mekana watutuawo, it's a weekday, awana, awana shida. Ebo leda ngiche pe ya reikani. Ngiche, e ya ngiche, ebo leda ngakibukui. Wanachasa bebe alwa jazi. Eh? Hata wanazatishia gari wanapetu. Nini watu wa gari muna situka, muna fikiria ni vitu vingine watu wanataa kufanya. Hata hmm. pia kwa barabara wakati mnaenda, ah, you are not sure. Hawa ni watoto, ni watu wazima, wanataka kufanya nini next. Unakuwa na hiyo tension. So, let's take our children to school. And even the teacher, staff adhali. Wakati uwe unaito mwalimu, wewe ni mzazi wapili kwa uwe mtoto. Unafaa ujue situation ya umtoto ya kwao na pia ya shule. Unajua kwa ukimfukuza hakuna mali ataenda. Ukiuliza mgini mbona we ujaenda shule, atisina uniform. Wacha tu mtoto akae shuleni. Ama kipo kumuambia mtoto ambie, mwanafu, ambie mamake, amnulia uniform. So usifukuze mtoto juu ya vitu kidogo, kidogo petty things. Mtoto unakamata mtoto unamuliza mbona ujaenda shule. 
Anasema ya ana kalamu. Kalamu tu. Hmm? Tafadhali, tafadhali, tafadhali. Walimu pia tunaweza kuwa tunachangia other things in, we, in one way or another. Jaribu kumwelewa mwanafunzi. Jaribu njia zozote vile umwache mwanafunzi akae shuleni. Hmm? Because hii barabara imekuwa kabisa. Mimi u, usafiri almost every month like twice or three days. Hmm? Kwa mwezi hata naweza kuja tu ndio nimepumzika one day. Then I go back. Naenda tena kitale. Na napenda kutumia barabara sana niposa ni observe. Are these children still there? Jana nimekuwa njiani. Nimepata watoto wale wale tu. Watoto wako njiani. Okay, tutatama jana ilikuwa holiday. On Friday nilikuwa kwa barabara. I saw these children on the road. Along the road. Na bado walikuwa tu kwa bush hapo. Wanakaa tu wengine wa wengine hata ni kama wachungi. Mm? They are just there. Wengine wameshika mawe, wengine viboko. Wanacheza games zao lakini wanaona wenzetu ile vitu wanafanya. Wanasikia pia maneno ya attack. Wanasikia pia bandits wakinyanganya watu vitu kwa barabara tu kule. So they will think that this is the right way. And today I'm calling upon the teachers, parents and the leaders to take note. On this and they should rectify this as early as possible. Huh? And we are adding we are adding to a longer holiday. What are we going to do about these children? Thank you very much. Uh, may our good Lord bless you, give you peace now and forevermore. Shalom. <laughs>